very much looking forward to today's show. Jonathan's going to be on it, but I better get into the studio, so I'll get in my golf buggy with a very special drive. Uh, oh, no. <sighs> He's only gone and done it again. And the time is 7.32. Who wants some Welsh slippers? <laughs> man, we're going to get them back later on. Uh, on tonight's show, ladies and jelly spoons, we have only got the man himself. Didn't know if he was coming on. He is coming on. Jonathan, everyone! <laughs> Did you just break wind in my face? <laughs> uh, his time in the house was sadly cut. Should I do that again? Because I didn't think they heard. Did you just break wind in my face? <laughs> He's here for his first ever interview. Uh, also, comedian Joe Coffey is with us. She's staring out. She's staring out. She's staring out. She's just staring out. Uh, she does to talk boys, and as ever, the almighty audience are with us. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you who else has got something to say. Only you at home. Here's how to get in touch. Nail it, Leon. 0871 200 1040. Text studio and your comments 82188 or email us channel4.com forward slash BBLB via the website. He left the house on the early hours of Tuesday morning and he's going to be answering your questions in, in today's big shout subject is. Love it. Ask Jonathan anything. So get your texts and emails coming in right now. First, it's time for me to catch my breath and you to catch up with Little Brothers Big News. <laughs> OK, first up, what would it mean for Ziggy if Chanel was evicted on Friday? No answers from the audience whatsoever. 11.41 this morning, he confided in Jerry that her potential exit might be a blessing in disguise. Take a look. She's still here. Great. I'm praying, but... Great. Uh, Beautiful. But... but... If Davina shouts out her name... Then, 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 then things are gonna things are gonna happen. If I can have like a week where I can tell people how I feel about them and get my point across to them, mm -hmm. and uh, maybe shake a few things up in the camp, then yes. so be it. This sounds awful, and she'll understand this if she ever sees I say this. But it will make me stronger. It will. It will make me my own character in the house too, and not attach someone. You know, I felt. I know I, what you mean. I felt like on I'm not Friday myself. night. On Friday night, you know, you'll be like devastated, and then mo Saturday morning, you'll wake up. I'm up for it. Yeah. Okay. I know. Oh my word! What do you think of that? Well, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Ah. <laughs> I'd say all the girls in the audience. At 1:20 this afternoon, Brian, this is genius, had a very urgent call of nature. But what with Lou Roll being very scarce in the house, would he make it to the toilet on time? Let's take a look. Charlie, you know what the problem is? Oh, I'm <laughs> my pants. This is unbelievable. Big brother cannot not give us bog right. I'm <laughs> my pants. Brian. Yeah, you can do it. If you open my drawer, second one on top. <laughs> no, second one, second one, second one. Yeah, there is some. Oh, thank you, Jay. I'll put it back up. Yeah, yeah, don't worry, don't worry. Thank you, Jay. It's my emergency. Cheers, <laughs> mate. <laughs> oh. Oh! <laughs> we can confirm he did make it to the toilet on time! Yeah! Now, the twins have not received a single nomination in five weeks, but now it seems there are some housemates they should defo fear. 2.04 pm today, Nikki, Laura, and Tracy give Brian some food for thought. Let's twin investigate. It cannot be possible for two 19-year-olds who have gone to university, passed exam to be to go to university, to be so, to be so naive. Sorry, it's not possible, Brian. 
And the public will see that. Oh, Brian, please, wake up. Amanda can add up that whole oh, shopping, shopping list all by herself. I can't do that. <clears throat> I can't I do, can that. do that. <laughs> she doesn't know how to put the difference between the mop and the bird. They're inconsistent because they're putting on a front. And when you put on a front and you lie about things, out. you get caught out. And that's yeah. when they're slipping up and they're slipping up a bit more and more and more. Each day. Um, now it's getting in a little bit road, further. Yeah. And breaking news at 5.28 this afternoon, Carol served up a delicious treat for the housemates. Laura's favourite, the Wanger Burger, uh, which consists of four Swiss fingers, a beef burger, four onion rings and sweet chilli sauce. I want to be like Laura and I've got exhibit A to try now. Wowza, look at that. And who wants to try it? Hey, big boy. Oh, my God. There you go, fella. Good boy on that. You. Uh, that was the Brothers Big News. <laughs> hey, indeed. Uh, joining us now, a man we were all very sad to see leave the Big Brother house on Tuesday morning, but never fear, he's back with us now. Ladies and jelly spoons, it's Jonathan! <laughs> Well, it's nice to have you on, cos I didn't know we were going to be able to, so it's, it's really nice to be here. First thank of you, all, thank you, thank uh, condolences from us or, uh, or uh, BBLB here. You left the house in, in very difficult circumstances. How's it going now? How are you feeling? Uh, I feel OK, yeah. I feel OK. Well, she was 104, so you've got to say, well done, really. Absolutely. Well, she was miserable for about 103 of them. <laughs> <laughs> but she lasted a long time, so, yeah. you know, that deserves some sort of... Gone. Well, I think God didn't want it, actually. <laughs> he knew where he was getting. OK, so on to you. Um, very successful businessman. Who's about to get married? Why does he go into the Big Brother house? Um, I think it's because I'm an arrogant um, show-off. And um, this is such a big platform to be an arrogant show-off mm -hmm. with that I couldn't resist it. So... But so many people go in there with these kind of dreams of stardom and money. and You didn't have any of that. So oh, I, That's not true, actually. Uh, because I, 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 have, I, I didn't have to win it, but I just wanted uh, a few people to notice me while I'm here. Mm -hmm. And forget me the minute I was gone. Okay. But it was, it's just a, m a moment in the sun. Uh, Midlife crisis or not? It's my third. <laughs> <laughs> so the other two were. Uh... Well, the other two were pretty major, but usually involve fast cars and ponytails and that sort of nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> this <laughs> time it's a uh, different scale. Oh, really. nation sees me. Um, but you said in the house you found yourself, which I think a lot of people um, saw in you, and I think that was probably reflected when you were up for nomination that you didn't get evicted. Um, what did it mean to you, and in what way did you find yourself? Um, I, I just realised that I'd have to keep doing this for the rest of my life, so I'd have to find a series bigger than Big Brother. Mm -hmm. It doesn't exist, by the way. Mm -hmm. I'd have to keep doing, showing off every single day. And I just thought to myself, why? Why am I doing this? Why am I getting up every morning and giving myself a hard time? Yeah. You know, I'm all right. Was there a road to Damascus moment? Did that happen to you? Well, it was Brian, weirdly. I mean, it's a bit like... Um, I don't know if you saw the film Being There with uh, Chauncey Gardner. He's mm -hmm. a wonderful character. You probably haven't seen it, but... It's, uh, he's, he's just a really grounded, lovely bloke who knows what makes him happy. Yeah. And it just pulled me up and I just said, I suddenly thought, yeah, that's the point, really, isn't it? Yeah. And then I thought, well, I don't have to be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, but then, of course, you wouldn't have left. Because, obviously, that, well, would, course, that would involve quitting and that's obviously yeah. not your bag. Well, I, I, I would have done, because I think that's part of it, actually. I, I was prepared to give up the ev eviction night. I was prepared to do that. Um... But, for whatever reason, didn't do that, because mm -hmm. I'm probably a coward or something like that. Mm. And, um, and then, of course, as it happened, the same day I got news that, that my grand was dying. So, sure. that, so they all sort of merged up. OK. You brought many things to the house, including a combination of charm and brutal honesty. Let's take a look at you in action. <laughs> I'm having a lovely time. This is very surprising. Y -M -C -A it is like living in a cartoon. I look like Shrek. Jonathan is a very, very intelligent. The big stuff. That I one. know everybody here more than they know themselves. She you think? That's my absolute arrogant attitude based on <laughs> pure ignorance. What was your bank balance before you come in? I don't know, about six million. Oh Did you just break wind in my face? <laughs> I really, really like Jonathan. I really do. The guy looking as a father figure. It's been an absolute pleasure meeting Jonathan. I'm so pleased you're here, darling. Thank you. Sometimes he's a bit rude, but, you know, that's... Like, quite charming. I'd never take the yeah, money and leave this place. I might pay 100 grand just to make you go. <laughs> if I was gone for two days, would you have missed me? Um, yes, half as much. 
been quite productive today. I've exercised, done my washing, insulted people in the nicest possible way. I've had a good morning. I'd like to say that this is the most incredible experience I've ever had. I found myself in this house, so I thank you doubly. You really seem like you, um... It really seemed like you'd bedded into it. it. Really seemed like after that first initial, yeah. oh my lord, they're all quite young and and, yeah. and, and, and in many ways, like you said, quite ignorant. You, you it seemed like you actually they grew on you. You know, who's your favourite? Um, well, my favourite is uh, I do really, really like Ziggy. Um, I really like Brian. Mm -hmm. I really like Liam, mm -hmm. and I really like Carol. And um, Carol made it sane for me. Yeah. Not because she's like we're both very old and all that, which we are. Mm -hmm. But because we both had the same sense of humour. Was and it nice? To, was it nice to hear you only had? We didn't have any nominations this week. Yeah, because I turned it round in a week, sort of thing. Because yeah. they hated. I was hated universally by everybody inside and out the house, as I now learned. Um, yeah. And I got it. I, did, I got it wrong, but I was didn't really change. It's slightly odd. I think I everyone got used to me. I think what people and I think, you know, this is just a layman's opinion, but I think. People like honesty, and that's one of the reasons why yeah. Charlie hasn't been up, because people like honesty and they yeah. like resolution there She and does what she says on the tin. You know, yeah, she's yeah. absolutely not trustworthy yeah. and will take you out with a machete when most people are... <laughs> you know, you go, you, it's like Queensby rules with boxing. You know, we all got rules about arguing. With her, you open your mouth and she just whips your knees yeah. off and you're gone. Yeah. <laughs> she had me in tears. I mean, All right, let's go back to Ziggy, because you did yeah. seem to bond with it, but I want to get your take on this, because since you've left, this looked like a broken man. Take a look. I'm, I'm going insane in here. I really am. Uh, I'm becoming something that I, I don't want to be, and I just... I, I just... I, I physically really, really can't stay here any, any longer. Can you explain for Big Brother exactly what has happened? Well, you know, it's, it's, it's way too intense in here and, and for me now. Um, there's too many girls in here, way too many girls. You know, the guys are dropping in by a second. I've got a 19-year-old girl telling me what to do. Zach, please, can you move the bed so I can get in the shower? Zach, are you smoking? I'm the fuck I'm just trying to get along with people. That's too big, Zach. I'm really, really, really getting irritated. I can't do it. Why are you in the house? I can't. Oh. Oh. That's a bit weird. Why is it weird? Because you're laying in a shower with clothes on and no water. She has got visions of this whole thing. She goes on about people saying that, oh, about talking about things after and all this after and after and after. And, and I just I feel really trapped and I've somehow got myself right in the middle. I don't want to be there. I'm a normal guy, and I'm losing my mind. I mean, what is his problem in the house, do you think? He's forgotten why he's there. Yeah. Um, when you put him in with 11 women, they, that, was, that ground him down. You know, he's, got, he's a guy with stamina, he's physically very fit, but I think that took a lot out of him. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that, with the money going, um, he missed his, his whole home life. I became his sort of uh, temporary daddy. Yeah. And, um, say. and Charlie is a hug at night. Chanel, you know, yeah. Because he's, he's, uh, he's, and he's forgotten why he's doing this. But do you think now he's in a situation with Chanel where he, like, everything is obviously so intense in there and amplified in there that every single time he turns She's also forward, deeply she's annoying. Is she annoying? Yeah, very. To live with? She's unbearable. I, I mean, I, she's, she's a nice person. I like her. And I'm, I'm sure I'd like her outside, but he's always the meat in the sandwich. You yeah. Know? And uh, she's, um, she's a real hard work. Well, listen, we're going to try and get more from you later on. Uh, thank you so much. Who, right, lastly, who do you want to win? Uh, I'd really, really like Jerry to win. OK. Because he needs to. OK, <laughs> wonderful. More from you later on for now. Thanks a lot, Jonathan, everyone. <laughs> All right. Still to come, comedian Joe Caulfield is here. Uh, she's talking about Big Brother's newest double act. So we'll see you in four. Take a look. <laughs> Welcome back. It's day 37. The time is 7.50. Wow, not that much time left, so let's get cracking. Joining us now is one of the sharpest and funniest women in the UK comedy circuit at the moment. Also, she's very easy on the eye, too. It's the only Jo Caulfield. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How are you, my dear? I'm good. How lovely of you to say that. Off I 
thank God. I know. <laughs> Oh, thank God. If my mother's watching, my I haven't had my arms tattooed yet. Yeah. <laughs> but you had ink done. So, thoughts on this week's nominations, first up, Jane? Well, it's, it's hard to know which way to go, mm -hmm. because uh, Laura's quite dull, but she's getting better. Also, she's, uh, she's quite feisty and she's quite snippy. Yeah, so, so I, I think she could that. improve. Chanel, really dreary. Had a terrible week, but Chanel, hasn't she? I think as punishment to Ziggy, she should stay. Interesting. Yes. <laughs> so because he's tried to play a game with her and all of a sudden he's gone, oh, no, I'm not going to be able to get rid of her. What do you think of that relationship? Is it I real? I don't believe it. Do I feel... I don't feel... I see no lust. No lust. I see a lot of stroking in a yeah. sort of brotherly way. But, you know, years gone by, there was all kind of sordid stuff happening with covers where you're going, oh, I really don't want to be watching this on television. But with them, you know, your granny can watch, nothing's going to happen. <laughs> you know, I don't believe it. Now, uh, you comedian, so who's been tickling the old funny bone in the house? Um, uh, Tracy, I find very funny. And at first, obviously, I think whatever substances she may have taken, there is some brain damage, I feel. <laughs> and, and now... To go. No, because at first she wa it was like watching Jimmy Savile at a rave. <laughs> she wasn't. She, she was. Are you saying she's saying, now then, now then, having it, having it, having it. No. <laughs> but lately, I think the time in the house. I think the brain cells are rebuilding. <laughs> I think the other day she said quite a coherent sentence, and also it was it was like a good observation. Mm -hmm. I thought well, this, she's quite sharp. It's she's slowly coming back. What so, about? Because I know you wanted to talk about Brian and Jerry. Oh, how lovely! Brian is so gorgeous. Now I didn't like him at first at all, mm -hmm. and then I realised oh he's just a hugely overgrown child. Yeah. And as we've seen, <laughs> barely potty trained. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he has wet himself once already and now that yeah. okay well, listen you... there's there this weird double act emerging yes. in the house between these two even though i know that brian's nominated jerry before take a look at this one of you must recite your animal alphabet and one of you must perform an impression of the animals <laughs> complete with corresponding animal noises i is for aardvark That's our iguana. That's our iguana. V is for VPR. <laughs> oh, V is for Viper. I think, what is your mother singing to you when you were young? Nervous, tunes. No, no, no but tunes. What do you call those tunes or songs? Lullabies. Yes, if, if you put a W in the front. Wallaby. Yes, a wallaby. Oh, w is for wallaby. New Morecambe and Wise or the new Hale and Pace? Oh. <laughs> but, it says, but also that Jerry is the smartest mm -hmm. and he's very educated and Brian clearly left early, you know, I mean, and anything you ask him, he's so sweet, any time you ask him a question, he's always like, oh, don't ask me! Oh, yeah, he's, no. he's kind of remarkably insightful in many ways as well and he's got yes, such a great heart. he's a heart. good person, yeah, isn't he? Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. Do you think he knows how funny he is? No, it's like a toddler. When the grown-ups laugh at him, he laughs, yeah. going, oh, I've done something funny, but I don't think he knows that. Uh, <laughs> John, are we is missing he? something with, with, with Brian? Is Brian, quite, is Brian a bit smarter than we... Than well, you we... know he's a creative writer, and he's, he's, actually, he's actually got a lot going on there, and I c could never work it out. Right. Yeah. I, never, I never worked it out I think all. he's probably actually the most moral and good of he's... the people in the house, isn't okay. he? Yeah. Do, you, do, you think, do you think Brian or Jerry can win? I, I kind of want Jerry to win, do but you? I'm moving towards Brian. Why? I, I would worry about Brian winning a lot of money and things like that, but maybe he could go back to school or something. Oh, no, <laughs> that would be nice. Also, he's an incredibly grounded man. He's got a lovely family. And yes. So we can him on yes, he's got his own lock on his bedroom door. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. that's, why, that's why he keeps wetting himself, because he can't get out. <laughs> uh, Jack Corfin, everyone, thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. Jack, really. So, Chanel and Laura are both up. Who do you want to go, my friends? These are the numbers. Cool. To evict Chanel, call 0991 21 22 03. To evict Laura, call 0991 21 22 06. Uh, at least 10p, of which is also going to be donated to charity. Let's go straight to the phone. Today's uh, topic is Ask Jonathan. Becky in Worthing. Hello, Becky. Hello, Dermot. Hi, what do you reckon then? Well, ask Jonathan. What's your question? 
Jonathan, seeing as you've lived in the house with both Chanel and Ziggy, I was wondering what your opinion is on the relationship and if you think it will last when they come out of the house. Because there's been a lot of opinions and a lot of people think that when Ziggy gets out, he'll just dump her and go on to another woman. So what do you think? Uh, I think he really means... He means it. He, he, I think he means to have a relationship with her. But would you start a relationship in the Big Brother house? Well, no, I don't think it's a better idea, so no. It's, it's... It's not got a lot of uh, things going for it. It's pretty, uh, they have to start again when they leave. Yeah. Yeah. Also, when, um, if you were still in the house now, if you didn't walk, then um, if you got to the final three, who do you think would be challenging for you if you wanted to win? Who do you think could be um, competition? Well, probably the people that would, should be there rather than me. Um, <laughs> I would think... I think probably Liam and... Um, Brian. Brian, yeah. Okay, yeah. Brilliant. Thanks a lot, Becky. OK. Two question girl. Mm. Uh, next up, Terry Tibbs in Port of Venice. Hello, Terry. Hello. Hello, Terry. Am I on? What's happening? How are you? Oh, very well, thanks, Terry. <laughs> Wonderful. What, what's your question? It's a question for Jonathan. Good. From one millionaire to another. Oh, yeah. Distinctive eyebrows. Talk to me. Ah, well, I've modelled them on uh, Thunderbirds. Beautiful. Uh, Scott Tracy. That's and... fantastic. Mm, and uh... my third wife. What? They remind me of my third wife's eyebrows. Thank you. I might have to take you up on that. Thanks, Terry. Best of luck with everything. Uh, Holly's here. Who do you like the most and who do you dislike the most in the house? Well, I hated Charlie like everybody else did and then I got to really like her. I, I actually ended up... Should, I, should Charlie be in there or shouldn't she be in there? Do you think she oh, should she's be... she's essential. Really? I, uh, yeah, unfortunately. It's, uh, it's like one of those things you have to do. It's... Uh, so painful having her there, but mm. she's a vital component part of that and show. And who do you like most? I like Ziggy. Yeah. Do you think, do you think Ziggy can win it? Do you think Ziggy can turn it around? Uh, if he gets some uh, nuts back, yeah. OK, thanks a lot. Jonathan, great to have you with us. Thanks a lot, Thank Jonathan, you. everyone. <laughs> thanks also to Joe. We'll be back tomorrow at 7.30 on E4 with the Friends and Family Extravaganza. Don't forget, main show tonight at 9 o'clock. Take care, see you tomorrow.